The term terahertz radiation may sound confusing, but here at Oklahoma State, Dr. Daniel Grzegowski has spent over 20 years researching terahertz wavelengths. The sense I do both experiments and theory, and we're trying to push things as far as we can go. And to understand things in a very basic way, there's high motivation in that. While 4G may seem fast, the amount of data cell phones can handle is nearly at capacity. By switching to terahertz frequencies to download data, the average user could see data speed up to 20 times faster than current cellular networks. Our current wireless devices use gigahertz waves to send data through the air, but Dr. Grzegowski is researching the waves in the terahertz spectrum. Terahertz waves can carry more data and remain open and clear, unlike the overused and clogged gigahertz waves we use today. Mabalba Mambagar, an electrical engineering grad student, has worked with Dr. Grzegowski for the past five years researching terahertz radiation. My research is focused on terahertz communication. And uh, so for the next generation of wireless communication, this is the great opportunity to develop the uh, bandwidth and the technology. You, you would have more ability to uh, download more data, you know, with the fast, faster speed. While it may look like a normal hallway at Oklahoma State, it is home to the best lab for terahertz radiation in the world, making all of the difference in research. See, now it's, it's uh, communication links in, in the atmosphere, uh, but in the process, we're making measurements over uh, distances of 170 meters, and it turns out that uh, our, our uh, uh, setup and sample chamber uh, is, uh, you know, I, I, we're, for that we're the best in the world. The laboratory facilities and capabilities control in many ways what can be done. I had no idea we could do this over such long distances. You know, our expedition sets out. We don't quite know what we're going to see. You know, we're trying to teach students to learn their whole life, but to enjoy it. Research, uh, unfortunately, in many ways, you got to be first. We're not devote. We're not uh, dominated by wanting to get rich or something like that. We're quite quite happy doing this. Griskowski and his team will continue to research terahertz radiation and learn all they can. For O State TV, I'm Jordan Tidwell.